Crappies are a nomadic species. No matter where you live in the country, they move a lot, especially in the springtime. Today, Ryan DeShane and I are going to look at some overlooked spots on a lake for crappies and how to catch them. Water temperature is the big determinant. That tells us whether the fish are in a pre-spawn, spawn, or post-spawn mode and where we're going to find them. Let's go back in time, seasonally, so we'll have a better idea of where we are right now. Last summer, the majority of the crappies were congregated along the deep weed edge when the water temperature was at its peak. As fall arrived and the water temperature started to drop, many crappies migrated towards basin areas. Then, when winter hit, many crappies settled down into the deep water and roam, feeding on insects and minnows. In spring, where we are right now, the ice came off two weeks ago. These fish have migrated from those deep basin areas towards spawning habitat and are on the hunt for two things, food and cover. We are simply intercepting them in this period prior to spawning. These fish are on the move and are often in small pods and can be pinned down for short periods of time. Then you have to resume the search. They can be here today and gone tomorrow. There he is. There's a crappie, Mike. Good. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Not huge, but this is what we're after. It's a pretty guy, huh, Mike? Nice. Here we go, Ryan. I got one going. There we go. That a boy, Mikey. Oh yeah, another one of those. Nice one, Mike. Another one of those little slab was. Yeah, move right in on you. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. That's a, about as simple as it gets, you know. Slip cork, plain hook, and a minnow. You put it right on top of them, and that's doesn't get any better than that. I think I'm gonna let this one go. You know, up here in the north country where we fish, uh, most people think that right after the ice goes out, the crappies just bolt right into the shallows where there's cover, shallow weedy bays or bulrushes, and that's not exactly the case. You know, there's a transition period in here where the crappies, they come out of the deep water and they'll maybe mill around out on some uh, deeper weed flats, emerging weed flats before they move up to spawn, you know, to feed a little, and then they, they move up. And um, that's what we're doing right now is we're finding these fish in the in-between spots before they move up to spawn. Water temperature is an indicator of spring crappie activity, but not an absolute guarantee of where fish are or what they're doing. That's because early spring weather is often unstable with water temperatures and fish location fluctuating accordingly. Even so, we can generally say that when the surface temperature in shallow bays is between 38 and 58 degrees Fahrenheit, crappies are somewhere in pre-spawn mode. At the cooler end of the range, early pre-spawn crappies are often fickle and flighty, roaming shallow weeds at the mouths of bays until weather conditions stabilize. That's where the fish are and how they're behaving today. A few consecutive days of warm, calm weather usually begins drawing crappies up into the extreme back ends of bays and channels. During these mid-pre-spawn conditions, crappies typically relate to and feed around flooded wood cover like fallen trees, submerged logs, and beaver lodges along the shoreline. As spring water temperatures rise towards 50, crappies begin shifting towards spawning areas, which often occur in reed beds near the mouths of bays. As surface temperatures approach 55, late pre-spawn crappies begin actively building nests. By 60 degrees, crappies should be spawning in earnest. 